Hi, in this short video, I will walk you through this cohort analysis template and explain how to make the most of it. So first of all, let's start with some theory. So what, what's a cohort analysis? Cohort analysis is a very common behavioral anal analytics method that is employed in the internet industry, I would say, let's say from e-commerce to SaaS, to assess the behavior of users over time. And it's based, as the definition says, uh, on cohort, the concept of cohort. Uh, so what, what's a cohort? A cohort is a group of users who share specific characteristics. In this case, we are like dealing with an e-commerce platform and uh, uh, a cohort is made of users who first bought the, the first product from the e-commerce on a specific month. So let's say the cohort of January is made of all the users who first purchase uh, a product from your e-commerce in January. The same apply for February and March. And the objective of this cohort analysis is to understand how people who first bought on a specific month behave in the, in the subsequent months. So, and, 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 and ultimately get their retention rate. So how many of those who bought, gen, bought first on January keep on buying in February, March, April, and so on and so forth. So let's go through the tips now. The first one is a sales data. Here you need to list basically all the purchase from your users. The first column is the date of sale, date of purchase. Uh, the, the, um, column D is devoted to a uniquely identifier for, for, the, for the clients. We, we put an email, which is, which is pretty simple. Then we have the value of the purchase and the items purchase. And then column E to H are automatically computed by the table and respectively, they, um, they show the month of sale, so basically extracting the month from the date of sale, the month of cohort, which is basically when the specific users, uh, john at gmail.com or carl at gmail.com, first bought on your platform, and then the elapsed month, which is the difference between month of sales and month of cohort. For, and let, Let's go to, for example, uh, for example, John, uh, John at gmail.com. So he belongs to the court of January because he first he bought first on your e-commerce on January. But then look at here, John already bought again the second of February. So the month of sales is, is now February, but the cohort is still January because he first bought in January. And then the elapsed month is one, meaning that if he bought again one month after his, his uh, first purchase. And let's go also here, he bought again in February, and then he bought again in March, meaning that here the month, the month of course, so was the same because he first bought in January, but then the last month is two. And through this calculation, we then, we are then able to show a chart basically like a table it looks like a chart and, and 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 show you how frequently people both and their retention rate to do to to see it let's go to the cohort page so the cohort page actually shows the cohort and let's go through the through the second the second table first so here you see that like the cohorts are listed in the first column and then all the other columns are devoted to the elapsed month. For example, elapsed month zero means that five people actually bought product on January. Of those five people, three of them bought one month after in February. Three of them again bought two months later in March, and so on and so forth. The same for the for the second row. The second row uh, belongs to people who both on uh, first on February, so cohort of February, two people both zero elapsed month later, so on February, and then one month elapsed later on March, April, May, they respectively both one. And those are absolute values. And if you go to the most probably the most insightful table, you got them in percentage terms. So you have obviously 100% of people with zero elapsed month because you represent the whole cohort. And then you get one month later, 60% of people both, 60%, two months later, 60%, three months later, then 40, and then zero. And those are retention rate, meaning that out of 100% of people in, in the court of January, 60% both one month later. And also a chart represents the same here. Enjoy.